Thank you, Trent. I hope everyone hears me. Like, I'm not in the best context right now. But uh, yeah, so today I want to share, I mean, if you recall from previous demo days, uh, we're going to present, I mean, the other day I, I showed how the life cycle of the subnet. Today, I'm going to show the subnets exchanging different cross net messages between them. So I'm going to show how, uh, like what we call top down messages, where um, subnets in the top of the hierarchy will be able to send messages to childs and 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 um, subnets are in the lower level. We're going to show bottom up messages, which are propagated through checkpoints and that are the ones that come from childs to the top of the hierarchy and what we call path messages, which are a combination of uh, top down and bottom up messages. I'm going to share my screen here. So here I have, I'm going to start mining. Here what I have is just uh, uh, what we call the root net. So a uh, root network without any subnets. I'm going to start running a few subnets. So here I'm going to, I'm going to make it a bit larger. I'm going to add a first subnet. I think I showed this in some other demos. So here I'm not just adding a new subnet with uh, with a proof of work consensus. If you recall, like every subnet can have their own consensus. Now I'm gonna join the subnet so that we can start mining in it. Yeah, because I'm joining the, the wrong subnet, like the ID is zero. Now, if we list the subnets, we'll see that we have the new subnet started with a stake of two Falcons and zero Falcons in supply. So now what we're going to do, if we see the wallet list here, if we see the wallet list of the subnet, sorry, the right subnet, you see that here is, there's zero, zero Falcons. This is the subnet. And in the main, like in the root net, if we look at the root net, we see that here we have a bunch of bike uh, of Falcons because we are mining. We're gonna start mining in the subnet. I'm missing the subnet. And now we're mining in the subnet and we're gonna inject some funds with a cross net message, a top down message, which means that we're gonna send some of the Falcons that we have in the root net into the, the proof of work subnet that I just created. If we just use this subnet fund, we're gonna send two Falcons into the new child subnet. And if this works, we should see here that the circulating supply now is two Falcons. And if we see my wallet inside this, you see that here my balance is two Falcons. So we did a top down transaction in which we injected from the root net two Falcons into the system. Now we're going to release in a bottom up uh, transaction. So we hear, so subnets are continuously sending checkpoints and, and committing checkpoints into the root net. And this is the system that we use in order to propagate messages from childs to the top of the hierarchy. So we're going to release some funds from some of the funds that I included in the subnet into the, into the root net again. Here I'm sending like 0 0.5 that I'm releasing from the child net. And in the next checkpoint, in, we should see that cross messages is it's set to true, which means that it has cross messages that is being, that are being propagated to the top. Then the root net will take the messages that come from the checkpoint and will um, like update the circulating supply and update the new the pipelines in my in my world. So in the next checkpoint, hopefully there will be a cross message equals true. Let's see, yep. And now if I check the list of subnets, I should see that the circulating supply of the subnet was reducing the 0 0.5 that I set up and like we're gonna, not gonna see it because I mean I'm mining in the root net and like I have a lot of pipeline but like th those 0 0.5 should have been added to my balance and finally the last thing that I want to show is that I'm gonna do one of these path cross nets where I I'm gonna add a new subnet and I'm gonna try to send from one subnet to the other so going through the root the root will be responsible for routing the cross net and I'm gonna send some. I'm gonna inject in the new child chain from the my current child chain some some one. So I just added a new subnet. What? Uh, going to when, when, when it's, register it so that it's in the hierarchy. It's on the top down. And then I'm gonna 
list the subnet to show you that I have a new subnet with zero falcons and super. And what I'm gonna do is send from one subnet. So you see here, I'm gonna send a cross message to my own address, like I'm not gonna use any other address from the first subnet, which is where I have funds to the new subnet. Actually, if I, let's check before that, let's check the wallet list. And you'll see that in the new subnet, there are no funds, so they're zero, and we should see there the ones that I'm gonna just send from those. So here, I'm sending 0 0.2, as you can see. And this is gonna do a bottom-up transaction from the first child, and then a top-down transaction to the other. So in the next checkpoint, we should see true here, because we're gonna propagate this to the root. The root will detect that this needs to be a top-down to the other child, and it will propagate the, the corresponding message to the right child. So cop, wait, I need to mine in the new subnet. So we see that the checkpoint has been uh, propagated to the root and with some cross messages. And now what I'm gonna do is check the subnets to see that the circulating supply in the, uh, in the new subnet has been appeared. So we've seen how we've sent 0 0.25 went from one child to the other routing to the root. And this is how crossnets work. Hopefully in the next demo, I'll be able to show like arbitrary messages to the actors and so on. Thank you very much. And I'm sorry for the background noise of all of these people. <laughs> hey, Alfonso, can I ask you a question really quick? Thanks. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. You can, you can, you're still gonna have to stay here for a second. Um, there's a question in the chat here, and it's, uh, what does subnet mine mean in practice? Does it mean that before you type this command, no block is created on this subnet before? Correct, yes, because like right now, I mean, I'm just adding, I'm just joining from a single node. I have two running, but I'm just joining from one, which means that only one has rights for mining because it has put the collateral. So there are no blocks until at least one miner uh when miners start mining and, and it depends on the consensus in this case i i have like a proof of work so on until one starts running the proof of work there's there's no blocks but depending on the consensus with three or four like in a bfp so it depends like the requirements depend on the subnet and the consensus that it uses all right